Hello there, I'm from technorats.com and this is the beginner's guide for Raspberry Pi 2. In this video, I will try to cover all the basic things that you need to know about Raspberry Pi 2. So, in general, this is a credit card sized uh, computer. Uh, the technical name is single onboard computer. Your smartphones are also a type of single board computers. The length and breadth of this device is just as the size of, your, of a regular credit card. The only thing is the height. If you remove the USB ports, this thing is as thin as your regular smartphone. So here you see four USB ports. These all are USB 2.0 ports. If you want to connect mouse or other peripherals to your Raspberry Pi 2, you can do this through these ports. You can also connect hard drives and pen drives uh, etc. I, I recommend using uh, 2 ampere of power supply to the Raspberry Pi for if you want to connect uh, various peripherals as if you use 1 ampere of current then the current will not be enough for connecting the other things and here we have a RJ45 connector or an ethernet port you can use this to connect to your LAN network or also you can uh, boot Raspberry Pi 2 with a networking mode that is by connecting it to your PC or laptop so that is also a way to turn on the Raspberry Pi uh, you can also do it through the SD card and on the side we have a composite video and audio jack uh, this is the combined jack uh, it, it has a 3.5 um, mm connector uh, which is common in most of the smartphones and audio devices so next thing we have the camera uh, interface or the CSI you can buy a camera from the official Raspberry Pi site and this is the full HDMI slot you can connect Raspberry Pi to your LED TV say plasma TV etc through this port on the side of the HDMI port you have a power supply this is the micro USB uh, power supply so you can power Raspberry Pi 2 with the regular foam charger but I recommend using a 2 ampere of currents to power up this device the Raspberry Pi works on a 0.5 ampere of current so you can power Raspberry Pi 2 just by connecting it to USB port of your PC or laptop but to connect uh, other peripherals to Raspberry I recommend using a 2 ampere of power supply so uh, on the side we have the display interface or the DSI you can also uh, connect displays to Raspberry Pi 2 many people are making uh, tablets out of Raspberry Pi 2 I believe they, uh, it will be thick uh, for a tablet so it will not be so handy if you make a tablet out of Raspberry Pi 2 but you know you can make a, a tablet because it will be cost effective so here we have the 40 GPIO pins uh, on the top of the Raspberry Pi 2 so you can use this uh, pins to control various features say if you want to connect control motors through Raspberry Pi 2 you can do this through these pins you can also connect an Arduino uh, with the help of these uh, GPIO pins so on the back we have the SD card slot the SD card slot will act as the hard drive of the Raspberry Pi as it does not have an onboard memory you can store the Linux or the Ubuntu version of the Raspberry or the Raspbian in the SD card and boot the Raspberry Pi with the help of SD card. As I already told you that you can also do this in a networking mode by connecting it with your PC or laptop through the Ethernet cable or the RJ45 connector. So on top we have the processor of the Raspberry Pi and also the USB controller on the Raspberry Pi. So you can make very cool projects with Raspberry Pi. There is an infrared camera also available on the official store of Raspberry Pi. 
so you can have many cases for Raspberry Pi you can make a case out of Legos you can also 3d print one and also you have clear cases like boxes and also puzzle cases I chose for a type of a puzzle case um, this is as you can see is a transparent case and this will be assembled like pieces of puzzle and this case provides inner ventilation for Raspberry Pi I'm planning to overclock the Raspberry Pi and we obviously know that on overclocking the processor the processor gets heated up and although the Raspberry Pi 2 does not get that much hot on overclocking as the previous versions but it will still get hot and you would want to have it in a ventilation so that the temperature of the Raspberry Pi can stay normal and you can also overclock this without voiding the warranty of Raspberry Pi so this would be a good thing to do as you can uh, overclock this Raspberry Pi to 1 gigahertz to 1.2 gigahertz approximately the initial speed or the speed without overclocking is 900 megahertz so with overclocking it can bump up to 1.2 gigahertz and some people are even getting more so it's up to you on the cover we also have the camera uh, slot you can connect and attach the camera on the cover the default camera which you will get on the online store of the raspberry pi you can attach that camera to this case so in this case we as you can see all the ports are quite accessible and I would like to end this video and tell you that there are various projects available on the internet so you can just check them and make your own projects with Raspberry Pi and also you can make other cool projects like home automation the Bitcoin miner you can also play Minecraft with this and you can make many things with Arduino. I will make my next video and in this in that video I will tell you about the projects that you can do with Raspberry Pi. So thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel.